Okay, okay, let's move on to 2.2. Okay, 2.2 is one of these tax questions. Now, tax questions are often notoriously hard, but they're actually not too bad. There's actually like a set formula that you can just use every single time you have one of these questions, and I'm going to take you through that approach. Okay, so it says Annex just C, I struggle with this word, eh? Shows that, uh, show the tax rate, shows the tax rates, seems like I struggle with a lot of words, for individuals for the 2018 2019 tax year. Now, you might be thinking, why do these um, tax years always run across two years? So, the reason they run across two years is because the tax year in South Africa runs from 1 March to um, the end of Feb the following year, right? The end of Feb is either the 28th or the 29th of February, depending on whether there's a leap year or not, right? That's why it's always two. So, it says, John, six, he, who is 68 years old, that is important, right? Rebates are based on your age. Receives a tax income of this much, 2045364. Right, so he actually earns over two million for the tax year. He paid a monthly contribution towards a medical scheme. Right, so remember, medical scheme is a type of um, insurance. Right, indemnity insurance. You pay a set sort of um, contribution to a medical scheme, and they pay for your healthcare needs. Right, your expenses for himself and his wife. Right, so there's two of them. That's important. So let's see. He has the annex to see. Tax tables, rebates, and medical scheme tax rebates. Important. These are per month. So when we calculate stuff, we're going to have to calculate it um, by multiplying it by two. Okay. So it says, use the information above and annex to C to answer the questions that follow. It says, calculate John's total medical scheme tax rate, tax rebate for the year. Okay. So it's John and his wife. So John is the payer. Right, and his wife is the first dependent. So let's write this down. Okay, remember always, right, to write the correct <laughs> reference because uh, question reference, I sometimes get that wrong as well. But let's just remember to do that, right? So it's John and his wife. So he gets a rebate of 310 Rand per month and she, he gets a rebate on her behalf of 310 per month as well. Remember, this is important. Your rebate is the same amount regardless of how much you actually pay to the medical scheme, right? It's a set amount. So it means if I am only paying 2,000 to my medical scheme, right, per month, this is how much I get as a rebate. If I'm paying 5,000 rand to my medical scheme, this is how much I get as a rebate. It does not vary according to how much I contribute, okay? So this is how much they get each month. If you add those two things together, it's 620 rand per month. Okay, but what has the question asked us? The question has asked us for the yearly rebate. Okay, so we're going to say 620 times 12. Why is it 12? 12 months in a year. Okay, so let's just do that calculation over here. So we say 620 times 12. So the rebate that John is going to get for contributing towards the medical scheme for, he, for himself and his lovely wife is... 7,440 Rand per year, or for this year. You don't have to say per year, you could say for this year, whatever, right? You just have to indicate that this is the annual amount and that is the monthly amount, okay? So let's now move on to the next question, okay? So it says, hence, calculate the amount of income tax he had to pay for this tax year. Now, this is a big question, guys. It's eight marks. And often these are the sort of questions that we like, okay, I'm going to leave this till the end of the paper because it's too tricky to do. But it's not, right? There's an easy way of approaching it. Basically, the way I always do it is I calculate the tax before rebates, right? And then I account for the rebates. And then we get the amount that he has to pay in tax. Okay, what's important here? right, is that the tax he pays, right, is dependent on how much he earns, okay, so let's just see how much he earns, so his, his tax before rebates will be based on his salary, right, which is this much in that year, okay, so let's look at the annexture and see where it fits in, so he earns over 2 million, right, so he's going to be sitting in the highest tax threshold, so he gets taxed most, Okay, so it gets taxed 532041, right? 
plus 45% of any of taxable income above this much, which is 1.5 million. So let's just quickly just draw a little visual representation of that, okay? So let's imagine that this little timeline represents his income, okay? And somewhere over here is 1.5 million, okay? For this proportion of his income, he's going to pay the 532041, okay? That's how much he's going to pay for anything below 1.5 million. For anything above 1.5 million, he's going to pay pay 45% of that to SARS. Okay, so let's just do that calculation, right? Tax before rebates, okay? So tax before rebates is going to be 532041 because that's that amount plus 45%, right, of everything above 1.5 million. So we have to times that by 204. 5364 minus one, well, you can just, we have to write it as one and a half million. You have to write it out in total. Remember, 1.5 times by a million will help you to get this. Okay, so it's 1.5 million. Why do we subtract the 1.5 million? Because anything below 1.5 million, right, has already been accounted for tax wise in this amount. So we have to subtract this from that to understand what the 45% applies to, okay? So now we can just plug that into our little calculator, good old calculator, and do the calc for ourselves, right? Most important thing, try not make typos like your girl Margie, she makes typos all the time, drives me berserk. But anyways, okay, I think that is correct. I don't think there are any typos. So the tax that he would pay, before any rebates is this amount, okay? Now, we need to understand what rebates he actually qualifies for, okay? So, we know that our guy John, right, he is 68 years old, okay? So, we know that he qualifies for the primary rebate, right? Because everyone qualifies for that. If you're a taxpayer, um, you would qualify for this. The secondary one, he also qualifies for that because he's over the age of 65. And remember, these rebates are additive, right? So he'd get the primary and he'd get the secondary. It doesn't mean that he'd just get one. He gets both of them, okay? So we say that he's going to get primary and he's going to get secondary and he's going to get his medical aid, right? Oh, wow, that was very strange writing. it. And he's going to get the medical aid. Okay, those are the rebates he's going to get. So his primary, based on this amount, right, is that amount, and his secondary is that amount, and his medical aid, right, his medical aid is the amount that we calculated in 2.2.1. So it would be 7440. So let's add all of that together and see what we get. Make sure that you do not have any typos. Remember, also here, we must always put our RAND signs in, right? Because it's referring to money. It's not just numbers, it's referring to money. So tax after rebates, right? Which is what they actually want to know. They want to know how much money goes from John to SARS. Okay, so it's a 777 Right, minus the 29,220. Okay, so all we have to do now is plug that into our calculator and then we are A for away. Okay, so the total amount that John is going to pay to SARS for this tax year is 748,234.8. Okay, it's important, right? We calculate before rebates based on the income tax bracket. Then we calculate our rebates. Then we say total amount that he would have paid before rebates minus rebates, and that gives us our answer. Okay, so that's 2.2.2 .2 .2 done. Let's move on to 2.3.